hey guys welcome you all so in this video we are going to see beam forming technique so what is beam forming how it is done and what are all applications and types of beam forming we will be seeing in this video so if you are new to the channel please guys subscribe the channel and hit the like button if you found the content useful okay so moving on to our topic now so what is beam forming the process of sending the electromagnetic signals in a particular direction rather than sending in all directions is called as beam forming so the beam forming is the technique of sending the electromagnetic waves or our signal in a particular direction so in a particular segment rather than sending it in the all direction so that is basically a beam forming so that is an power consuming technique to uh, spit out the energy in all direction because that is uh, there will be a lot of loss in the power so in order to reduce that loss we are sending the energy or the signal in a particular direction so that is called as beam forming so like uh, when a flashlight is uh, turned on it will be sending the light in only one direction so this much portion will be in the black region because we are in, uh, only interested in the front okay so that's why this is like a beam forming so this is a conical beam which is formed by the uh, flashlight here so that same technique can be used in case of the electromagnetic waves to produce an beam of electromagnetic waves which will be pointing to a particular user so that is uh, the basic definition of a beam forming now why beam forming is required that is uh, the reason why we should go for beam forming so there are a lot of reasons so some of which i have pointed here the first one is efficient use of power so as i showed, showed earlier also the power consumption will be very high in case of the omnidirectional antennas that is the energy which will be putting in all directions but when we go for the beam forming antenna the power consumed by the cell tower will be less or the power consumed in radiating uh, radiation uh, production will be less so the second point is maximum data transfer is possible so as the particular beam is uh, continuously pointing towards a particular user the amount of data which can be transferred at a time is greater because the signal will be stronger so as the strength of signal increases we know amount of data which is transferred will also increase so weak signals will uh, uh, transfer low data and uh, the strong signals will go on uh, transfer higher data or the maximum amount of data then the third one is amount of power consumed will be less as compared to pure power consumed in case of omnidirectional antenna so this is also same so that is the amount of power consumed in case of omnidirectional antenna that is splitting out energy in all directions is greater as compared to the beam forming antenna basically meaning then a good connectivity so due to beam forming the strength of the beam will be higher and if this is the user and this is a self uh, tower then the connectivity between these two entities will be stronger as compared to the omnidirectional antenna so that is an, a good point there then the fifth one is uh, lesser call drops or data breach is low so the call drops are low due to the higher strength so these are all the applications or advantages we can say uh, due to which we should go for beam forming antennas or technique all right so now let us see how beam forming works uh, that is how beams are created so before explaining this one i am um, let you uh, let me tell you something that is so if this is a pond here so you are putting a stone out here okay so it will be producing waves in all directions all right so in each and every direction the waves will be produced like this so the next step is assume that you have dropped another stone here so it is also producing uh, the waves in all directions but you notice that at some point the strength of the waves increases in particular direction but in case of other direction that is here the strength of the waves will decrease so that is due to constructive effect and destructive effect so at some particular phases per point due to the same phase of the two waves the 
signal the waves will going to add up together and they will be creating a wave with higher strength as compared to the other one and in case of other due to the different phase the output of the net addition is going to be zero or the or the two waves will going to cancel out each other so that same phenomenon can be used in case of the electromagnetic signals that is two electromagnetic signals can be add up together to give an electromagnetic signal of higher strength so that is called as constructive addition or constructive effect and in case of destructive effect these two signals will going to subtract each other or cancel out each other due to the different phase here so how we can do let us see so suppose there are two antenna elements that is first antenna and the second antenna and we are uh, providing first antenna with a signal uh, let us say one and for second antenna we are providing a signal two so these are the two different signals so their amplitude and phase will be same okay so but the signals are different so what we will be uh, doing is do the antenna this one will be putting some signal right like this and it will be also putting a signal but due to the constructive effect the mid area here the signal strength will going to increase that is it is almost double because of the addition of first signal and the second signal and it will be higher in particular direction and in some other directions it will be lower so we will be calling this one as the mean beam that is the signal beam which is having the higher strength and the beams which are produced with a lower strength are called as side beams or unwanted beams so we uh, we are not expecting this one but due to the effect of destructive uh, destructive uh, they will be produced here so but we are interested in interested in this beam itself all right so this is how we can uh, take different signals and by adjusting their phase we can produce a main beam so that is nothing but a beam forming but there is a second technique where same signal can be used so in case of this we need two signals that is two different signals and we will be changing their phases according to get a main beam or the beam but in case of uh, this second technique where this is called as phased array multiple input multiple output antenna mimo antenna this one is where the same signal is taken and here these elements are called as phase shifter so they will be shifting the phase of the input signal uh, by 90 180 270 or uh, depending on the application so it is up to user uh, to what extent you want to change the phase of the signal so basically they will change the phase of this input signal and they are given to the independent antenna element so this is the four input one out input four and uh, so this is the four uh, patch antenna that is 1 2 3 and 4 so these are the four antenna elements here okay so what here will be uh, happen happening is so first it will be putting some energy here energy and uh, then this will be putting independently energy by changing the phase shift the same constructive eff effect happens here so Uh, let us say this beam is formed so by changing the phase of these signals we can change the angle of the beam or uh, the strength of the beam here so let us say initially it is in the direction this that is beam on we can change to this one by changing any uh, phase of this one either you can change for this one for this one for this one for this one so by changing the phase of the phase shifters we can change the output beam direction so this is how a single phased array antenna multiple input multiple output antenna or the beam forming antenna works so i hope you understood the concept and found the content useful please guys if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you found the content useful so thank you thanks for watching